no, Freddy Benson. No, no, stop. What? No more Freddy Benson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Dog's Cast. We are on episode 58 in our final weapon arc of the show. Um, as always, we're going to be taking a little bit to send our links out, make some tweets, and let all of our friends and family know that we are live, and as for to give us some time to get ready for tonight's session. Um, we're going to be taking about 10 minutes to just chat and chill out and get ready. And in the meantime, thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoy tonight's episode. Hi, hey, strawberry in here. Huh? There's a strawberry in here. What are you Dude. talking about? That's a carrot. That's a strawberry. That's a carrot, That's Jared. a strawberry. That's orange. That's a... That is orange. That's, that's red. No. That's Two a... to the one, to the one to the three. Why has God forsaken me? <laughs> Because three is the magic number. Oh, I number. gotta do the Discord. Wait, what did you say? That three is the magic number. Wow. Sick three reference. Three by Britney Spears. Anyway, I have to go put a message in our Discord. When are you done with that? Can you bring me my backpack? You want me to get up and go get mm -hmm. your backpack? Mm -hmm. That's funny. I just stood up. It's your turn. Well, how about you do the Discord notification then? your phone. <laughs> right, hold on. Give me a moment. What do you need your backpack for? Ow! Try to match in my seat. Spider Man! Spider Man. Oh, I hate typing on your phone. <laughs> Why? Because there's a bubble in your screen. I need a new fucking um case. You're you're a you're. A... How are we doing? All right. Is Twitch pulled up? Hello case. Huh? I could kidnap. No, you could not. <laughs> no, they could. They have to drive the path. It's not big enough. No, it's it's. Lucy, it... how big's your head? <laughs> Pretty small, if you ask me. I think it would fit on Lucio's head. What is fitting on my head? It's, it's like a, a bag little... that my sheep came in. <laughs> it's just a plastic bag. No, it's cloth. Okay. So it's comfy. Oh, okay. Then yeah, you can kidnap me. That's fine. Okay. I will kidnap you, and I will force you to watch Book of Booba. Oh my god, I need to watch Book of Booba. I've been spoiled about the entire thing. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I thought this was about actual titties, not Star Wars. No. No. My son. Uh, yeah, like... <laughs> I've, I've seen a few things, but not too many. Oh, I've seen, like, everything at this point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, Jer handed me a penguin made of paper. Oh. With little googly eyes on it that says Miss Chrissy on it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Miss Crisis. <laughs> Miss Crisis. That's um, me. Jer is giving me more penguins. Um, Miss Audrey is missing an eye. And then me too. Mix Jeremy. Mix Jer has um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 eyes on it. Oh, wait, uh, only 13? Yeah, one fell off by the looks of it. Oh, I'm missing a lot. There were 16 last I counted. Oh, God forbid. Three eyes. God. <laughs> well, now my mother has none. You're taking your mom's eye? No, it, it fell stick. on the floor. Holy crap. Anyway, what? I don't want your yogurt-covered raisins. Anyway, how are we doing? I'm playing What's in Jared's Backpack today. I swear to God, if it's another McDonald's cheeseburger that's been sitting there for a week. <laughs> what about 200, 200 crickets? 200 oh crickets. my, the, your 30 <laughs> to 50 Keith Urban CDs. <laughs> Didn't I just get rid of them? Did you get rid of them? You did, I remember. What? You were so upset. No, I still had them. I just cleaned my room the other day, and we, I might have gotten rid of them. We cleaned your room the other day, and we found s some of them. I, I thought don't know you we were found... gonna get rid of them. No, I never did. 
because you have attachment issues yeah. <laughs> to your 30 Keith Urban CDs from the night that you the know what? They're probably in the other house room. and you shaved your head. <laughs> um, I have a speaker. A wild night. I have a speaker for my uh, ghost spirit box. I have my penguins, obviously. Penguinos. I have Nick's cousin's penguin. I have my mom's penguin. Whose eyes you stole? Yeah, I'll take Chrissy's too. No! I won't let you. How many how many streams can I mention Nick's cousin in? I mean you work with her, so. I just think it's funny. I have 60 toothpicks! Loose. The 30 to 60 loose toothpicks. That's still okay. That's still one of my favorite memes is the 30 to 50 feral hogs. I don't know why. It it cracks me up still. I don't know why. It was a good meme. That's all Thank I'll you say. for not telling me that I should switch the page. I have switched the page. So. Well, I mean, we we're on the promo, so I figured you'd pick up on that. Nope. How is chat doing? You figure a lot. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. Hi, Ryaki. How are you? How are you? I know you guys are both working, but I love you both. I bought a box of them to clear my earbuds. That's fair, uh, but broke in my bag. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's fair, though. Shisha Mish. Oh, thank you for the 69 bits. Thank you for the 69 bits, God. That's so that's, true. That's my boy. Yeah. My boy. She had pasta for dinner. So true. Wait, wait a minute. Is that Angos Elementals Incarnate? Is that oh. what? Elementals Incarnate? That's George. Of oh. the jungle. <laughs> Fucking Tarzan over there. I'm sorry, you said jungle, and I immediately was brought back to last night when we had at least a 15 minute conversation in the studio about <laughs> jungle crew. <laughs> Listen, oh there's. There's a gay man. Did you know that IKEA has a um a checkout representative like those little AI things, um and it's Jungle Squid. Jungle Squid. <laughs> he can assist you with your order. Oh, so true. I appreciate it. For context, I... chat. Watch Disney's Jungle Cruise for surprisingly good gay representation in a fucking Disney movie. 200 bitties for Skungi! I was gonna say thank you thank for the 200 you. bits! Appreciate that. Um, thank we're you gonna. For the 200 Orbeez. 200 Orbeez? Remember when I had like a billion Orbeez? Can we change our channel point reward because crypto yes. fucking. Can we change it to Orbeez? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Give me all It was five. a funny joke at first and now I am no and longer laughing. And then cryptocurrency laughing. became a. And a, I'm no longer a real laughing. Thing. I'm no longer laughing. Um, while Jer is doing that, um, if you have been keeping up with us, you might have seen that our mid-season finale, um, is, for, today. No, is no. not today, but is coming up. Our mid-season finale is going to be on February 28th. That's, you know, tentative, but that's the, the plan is for February 28th. Um, we're going to be hyping that up. Uh, for the Scott's next... gonna play everyone. That we're gonna be hyping that up for the next four weeks, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, tell all your friends about it. This is our final weapon arc leading up to that mid-season finale. It's literally one letter too long. What? The 30 <laughs> to 50 wild keep the urban seeds! Uh, are you excited to play every dog's cast character? Are you excited to play Redacted? <laughs> you... Okay. I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Jer. Um, but yes, um, yeah, you'll be, um, we'll have more details about the mid-season finale, but be on the lookout for it. Um, we'll have more details. Um, we will be going on a little bit of a break afterwards, so just uh, be on the lookout for that. We're going to be talking about it quite a bit. Night um, pop. Night pop. Uh, but yeah, watch this arc. Watch that. Um, watch our show. 
And with that, um, it's... Watch elemental thing. I, I was gonna say... I got a shill, baby. Then go ahead. It's not this week, it's next week. You, okay, you can shill next week. <laughs> yeah. what are, can we buy some and display them in your room? Orbeez? Wait, what are we displaying in oh, my room? Uh, Orbeez? You used to have a tank that was just full of Orbeez. Yeah, I you did. Should, I had a fish tank of just Orbeez, nothing else. I had a filter in it that also just cycled the Orbeez around. <laughs> do you remember that? I do. <laughs> it just would flow the Orbeez in a circle in the tank. It was um, wonderful. All right. It's 10 o'clock. Do we want to get into our um, introductions and our recap? I just want to say, hold on. I have an infinite number of 30 to 50 wild Keith Urban TVs. <laughs> we That's changed our, our new channel, channel points. points. <laughs> People that don't know what that means is, are going to be like, what the fuck? We'll do a story time at some point, but not right no. now. Dare introduce yourself. Um, On my personal account, I have 204,760 30 to 50 wild Keith Urban TVs. Oh my goodness. I am a cartoon character. <laughs> um, hi. Hi. <laughs> Stream ends. <laughs> my name's Jer. Um, I am the DM of Dogs Cast, and my pronouns are they them. I just got I got so confused because I had to do a different intro the other day. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jasper. I use he, him pronouns. Tonight I'm going to be playing Callisto Polaris. Who's that? I don't know. I'm Sleepy or Lynn or whatever. Hey, you want to call me? My pronouns are they slash them. Today I'm going to be playing CC Barnes. Uh, I don't have a funny thing today. Uh, someone do a hunt. Someone here's my funny thing. Someone donates a hundred dollars to me specifically. I'll go outside, put little boots on, I'll just lie down flat in the bit of remaining snow there is, and I'll fucking do it on stream. So oh, true. Um, hello, my name is Lucio. Um, my pronouns are he, they, and I will be playing Torleth, Sylvan, and someone else. Do you get to know? No. Do I get to know? No. Not move the mic too much. Just, like, just keep it there. Because this mic is fucked. <laughs> You're right. I was going to do a whole bit where I swallowed the microphone whole for the remainder of the session. Whenever you hear me speak, it's just my insides turgling about. Who turgled? Who turgled? Who turgled? Material turgle. Material turgle. But hi, Tyler. I use he, him pronouns, and if the big mean and green monster on your screen wasn't enough of a hint I'm playing Scrungus tonight. No, Scott is. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scott. I, I, Sc I invite Scott to the server right now. <laughs> Kaylin, can you shoot Scott an invite? I... I'm doing it right now. Bet? I thought he would I thought it would be joining session and I'll be that it is his character. I know, Scott. Hey, uh, I just sent you an invite. Can you come join call and play Scrungus real quick? Love you, babe. No, don't tell me to stop. Check your DMs. On Ghost will be joining session. Flash serious, babe. Get in here. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let. Real Let's start quick. the recap. Uh, let me let me look at the available characters to be played. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, perfect. Water bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> Water bottle. Oh. Lynn, you're the recap. <laughs> so, 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 um, so, um, last session was the we're going to the beach. It's the beach episode. Is that your recap? <laughs> so, so the last episode was the, was, the, was the beach episode, but we didn't we didn't we didn't do beach stuff. But like in my heart of hearts, I imagine they were all wearing swimsuits, though they realistically were not. 
and they and they and they had a talent show because that's what you do on a beach, right? You don't fucking go swimming or anything. You you do a talent show and everyone performed and a lot of conversation happens. And you guys realize how fucking hard it is to fucking do the recap episodes. It's hard. Like, recap the RP episodes. It's like, it's just people talking. Just go watch it. The VOD is on YouTube. Is Can it you on YouTube? Do- yes. It did get on YouTube. Yeah. I'm adding it to our season playlist as we speak. Go watch it. Go YouTube. watch it. Go watch it. Yeah, um, it was a beach episode, but it wasn't really all that fun, actually. <laughs> Cece and Callisto got to play in the water. Yeah, but at what cost? <laughs> uh, the Callisto bitching out Mathandi. A mental breakdown. Listen, I was possessed. I'm sorry. Tales of future past. By what? Redacted? What? <laughs> Were you possessed by Redacted? Yeah. <laughs> I sure was. All right. Um, the new uh, upload is in our playlist. I'm gonna send a message about it to our Discord later. But it's on YouTube. Go watch it. Anyway, tonight. Not twenty. Wait, I'm gonna wait. Not twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. Not twenty. Oh, Onyx, Onyx is gone. Onyx Bye. Is gone. Not twenty. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Onyx was unappreciated in this time, so he left with his um. Lover? His lover? The Joker? They, the Joker? Fucking horrifying hellspawn. The Joker from the movie? The Joker? Joker from the movie, The Joker. The... the Joker oh, wait, one minute. We need, to, we, need to, <laughs> we need to stall for like one minute. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> The Joker. This is a Joker. Hi, our special guest is here! Oh. Wait, shit. This isn't my room. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you guys be. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all. Scott here. Scott here. No, he left the server! <laughs> Oh my god. I love him so much. How many times has Scott been in this server? Three? Twice. Twice. Thrice? Twice? <laughs> Alright, are we right. ready to start session? Yes. Yeah. Um. I, I know. The. Night passes. And the suns rise over the horizon, bathing the shepherd in an early dawn. Um, not much of the boat is up yet, save for Wood and Torleth, who have both burst out of their rooms with a realization after discussions from the other day. I feel like we're close. We're definitely close. There's there's something here that strikes me as being on the apex of potential historic discovery, but let's go over what we've learned one more time. Uh, so, well, uh, we know that Volcani well, Koisia, or some people know her as Volcani, um, she was... Of course, she was the one who made the coteries, but we did find out that she um, was the one to make the coterie that I was born in. That makes anything sense? It's something, but you're definitely correct about that. Additionally, we uncovered that she is, in fact, one of the realm's most revered healers. And any and all advancements in that particular field of study, her medicinal talents alone, are the precedent, the very foundation that Taridran culture has used as the 
core for any and all practices. But here's the thing, and that would reaches to his belt, undoes the Divine Manuscript of Heroic Justice, and additionally, Toralus Journal that the prior session would had received from here. I've done a bit of, let's call it cross-referencing, and I found some interesting overlaps between these two respective journals and... Overlap? Yes, yes, overlap. There's a plethora, a multitude of sketches, primitive drawings that showcase that there's some striking similarities between what appear to be, and call this a tactician's hunch, that through my intuition, there may be some similarities in the personal lives lived between Volcani and Taijin. I mean, I guess so. They did fight a war together. <laughs> I... But it's more than that. It's more than just the two of them were fighting a war together. What I can presume are rough sketches from the events that followed the war. They're there together, and... I, I... don't know. I, I mean... just feel like there's something more to that. I mean... There might, but you never know. He could have just been like, hey, Wilkenny, uh, I'm gonna take your sketches now, because I thought they were cool. Like, okay, they're up on the wall, you might as well take them. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I wish Wilkenny would tell me something, but she doesn't talk to me anymore. I haven't heard her voice in in ages. It, it's It would make sense if she would just tell me, but she's like, no, I'm gonna be mysterious that in time a resolution will take hold but until then we can only do so much with the information that we've gathered and at this point as Wood begins to furiously flip through the respective contents of each individual journal he kind of clutches at his head for a moment but if I may would it be all right if we took a momentary reprieve? Okay. Oh. I... Well, I suppose you are the most skilled amongst the motley crew of the shepherd and medicinal practices. So I suppose it would be best to consult you in this affair. And would kneels for a moment and closes the contents of the respective journals. Being that you are skilled in some way, shape, or form in regards to the ancient medicinal practices of the Teridra, have you anything for remedies in regards to chronic headaches or vivid dreams? Um, well, vivid dreams and like how? Like, in these dreams, are you like, can you control yourself? Not quite. It's more like the closest thing I could in truth compare it to was my famed clairvoyant predictions, but future sight isn't in my blood. I know that for a fact. Well, if the drivers know something, they know how to see into their own kind's future, so um, I'm sure if I think of it, I can get something to you within a week. That... that would be most beneficial. These... waking dreams seem to... have plagued my very being for... quite some time now. I didn't wish to... concern anyone, but... I mean, if it's happening more often, then you should definitely consult somebody. Why you came to me, because, you know... 
medicine and all. <laughs> I'm sure that with our combined efforts, we'll conjure forth a solution that shall rid me of these... Ugh. Vision. These nightmares that dog my every step. <sighs> well, why don't you get some rest? Go, you can, when you wake up later, you can look at the books again. But I'm, I'm sure you're not going to find anything else, but, uh, um, get some rest, please. Thank you, Toralef. I, I know this is a lot for you. Transcribing the contents of your family's history and having to take the word of a stranger. Hmm. But I appreciate all that you've done for me thus far, and we'll figure this all out together. And Wood rises to his feet at this point, with both of the journals in his hands. I'll get to work on this as soon as I wake back up. And he begins to walk off in the direction of his quarters. Stops for a moment, locks up in place like a deer in the headlights, turns to face Toraleth one more time, shakes his head, and books still bundled close to his body, kind of just rubs the top of his head. Ugh, I must be seeing things. <laughs> All this effort I've put into deciphering these ancient codexes uh, affecting my ability to decipher fact from fiction. Farewell, Toralef. I shall confide in you next we speak. And I'll get started on that medicine right away. Sleep well. He bows. Rest soundly, my sacred ally. Wood makes his way through his quarters. And we'll cap that off there. Not long later, um, once the guy, the suns have reached just over a quarter, um, Rylan comes out and rings the bell. All right, everybody. Time to report. Wah, wah, wah. Hello? Hello. Sorry, everything got quiet. I'm just moving people. And then Alira's up in the rose now. Her token's just not on the page. Because she was not present at the talent show. Not forgotten. Not present. Anyway. Well, you're not going to be reporting to me today. Today you report to Andrew. Like to take it away? Thank you, Ryland. I haven't addressed all of you before, but I'd like to thank you all for answering the call when it was wrong. Today, we're to sail to Valdor. We've amassed enough weapons, enough training, enough heart to hopefully take back the city and 
to get Boulder back. At the mention of Balder, Scrungus, who has been standing at attention, perks up significantly and trudges closer to Andrew, shoving aside just about anyone in his way to get there. And he is listening as intently as someone like him can. Andrew walks up to him and reaches up and puts an arm on his shoulder. I want you to get everybody that you trust. Or at least however many we can bring into the city. Could be about... Roughly six of us. We have to make sure we keep this operation quiet and controlled. We're gonna get him back. We get him back. He turns, just keeps repeating it to himself. He pounds his chest. He stomps his feet. He tenses to flex his body. We get Boulder back. And immediately, Scrungus makes a beeline towards Callisto. A time. You want me to come with you? You keep promise. I we absolutely get do. Back. We get him back. I'm right at your side. Scrungus pounds his chest again. You don't let me down. I won't. Who else are you thinking? We need all strength we can get. And he kind of reaches out like he's going to forcefully grab Callisto, but stops and kind of just yanks on Callisto's cloak a little bit. Usher's in, like, hey, come this way. Yeah, Cal I was gonna have Callisto f kind of follow him either way, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's totally fine. Uh, just ushers him over one way or another towards Cece. Cece has kind of been, like, trying not to stare, but has most definitely been staring, like, doing a little thing where her legs kind of bouncing, ears kind of twitching. Strongus in comparison to how he confronted Callisto, very forcefully grabs Cece's shoulders and approaches her from behind in doing so. Big time. We're gonna make this right. <sighs> I'm not going down as easy as I did last time. <laughs> oh, me believe it. You strong, Cece. We trust you. We get Boulder back. I trust you too, Strongus. We're gonna get Boulder back. We're gonna get all of Valdor back. Need a... strong. And he points to Cece. Smart. And he points to Callisto. Firepower. Me need you. Strongus turns on a dime towards Torlef. Big time. Uh, yes. Yeah, no training. Yes, yeah, sure about this big guy. Me need all help we can get. If you strongest pendrel, time to prove it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and and Torlev kind of does like a slow turn towards Rasmusis and Xavier, like frequently bought together. Do not separate. <laughs> <laughs> you need them. Uh, I mean, if you need more firepower. There's Xavier. We need you. <laughs> we need them too. Okay. <laughs> he 
Not so much as shoves past Torleth, but more like saddles between Xavier and Rasmesis. Grungus need all help he can get. Yeah. Torleth. So me need you too. You you got it, big man. I, um by the way, I don't can't remember if we've ever had a proper conversation, but um uh Xavier Litchfield. Gungus. Does Xavier like extend a hand or yeah. Strongus picks up Xavier by the hand. Brings oh, okay. him eye level. Just sniff sniff. Oh. Sorry. And plop Xavier back down as gently as he can. Yeah. You'll do. I mean, yeah, yeah I, got, I got fire, and if I remember correctly from um, everything, I, they, they don't like fire, right? Um, spider. Hate fire. If... Good. And Scrungus tap taps his chin for a moment. <sighs> Um, spider makes short work of Scrungus in long run, but if you keep him safe, and promise to, mm, me bring you along. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right by your side, buddy. And he forcefully pats Xavier's shoulders the first time realizes that he's doing it way too hard and does it a second time significantly more air quotes gentle tasted breakfast for there, there for a second Scrungus <laughs> mm. turns towards Raz blink blink Blink, blink. <laughs> um, Callisto kind of walks up. Um, Grungus, um, if you're looking for smart people, Ra Rasmesis is the smartest man I know. I wouldn't be half as smart and strong as I am today without him. We can trust him. Grungus trudges a little closer to... Rasmesis. Another sniff sniff. Yeah. Smell smart like you. Thank you for the observation. We take you. Understood. He trudges a little closer. smart, Callisto smart, me strong, CC strong. Turns towards Torleth and Xavier and points a pudgy finger into both of their respective chest. You too crafty. And with Andrew we unstoppable, perfect team. That's the goal, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get Boulder back. At this, Trungus trudges back to Andrew. Dad, Dad, we have team. All right. If we're all together, Roxas, you take us away. 
and Praxis kind of pats Analyze's shoulder and takes Helm under Mathandi's token on an whatever. And the party ships out. To confer. Yeah. That's um <laughs> please hold. Please hold. Yeah! The Te vote! Technical difficulties. Here, you can roll play. This is exciting, isn't it? Saving an entire city. Like the old storybooks, right? We're gonna have to take this seriously though. Have I ever not taken something seriously? Callisto literally, like, gives you the look. <laughs> like... Listen. Th this is different. I'm actually... Okay, you weren't around when I got my weapon, but I take this stuff extremely seriously. This isn't like the Solcadas where I was getting covered in goo and... Well, I just remembered we're dealing with bugs. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> keep your cool, will ya? Uh, she like punches him in the arm. The hard enough. I'm better than that. I can, I can squash some spiders. At least these ones won't be trying to eat my very existence. We'll say it's nice to be adventuring together to get again. Yeah. It's been a while, hasn't it? I suppose it has. But um, we've got work to do. We're gonna do it right. We always do. Fungus has been looming over Callisto, Cece, and I'm going to presume Toraleth, who's close by. Yeah. And he kind of squats down to their level and, like, almost group huddles with them. Yeah. What's the game plan, big guy? He... You can see he's breathing very heavy. And he keeps eyeing the horizon where Valdor is getting closer and closer. And you can see that he kind of almost... spreads his arm's length around the three of them. And... Almost brings them in for a hug. CC leans in to return the hug. Like, oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> it's a group hug. And she, like, grabs it's... Callisto and, like, gestures for Callisto to pull Torleth in. It's um... like, Callisto doesn't know what to do. He's kind of like, oh, um... Are we, like, huddling to discuss? <laughs> it's uncomfortable. He's using anywhere between a fraction and literally all of his strength to hold the three of, of them as close to him as humanly possible. And you can hear him just kind of muttering, like, we get him back. <laughs> we smash dumb spider. We do, we do. Yeah. <laughs> We get him back, we smash them spider. We're, we're here, we're here. This is what team do, right? Yes. yes. Yep, yep. And we're the best team around. You got us, you got us. Strong team. Good. And he unceremoniously releases his grasp on the three of them. No more. Do whatever you need to do. And he trudges over towards the exit to the boat general locations eagerly anticipating the point where the shepherd hits dry land. Oh. You hit dry land and Andrew starts ushering you all off the boat. Alright, everybody. Each leader within the militia had a different emergency 
bunker of sorts. Mine and Baldur's bunker was in the arena. The same one that we fought you in. Or, you know, they fought you in. Um, that's our best bet for where to find them. Once we meet up with them, we should attempt to find Pendril and the others. They should be likely within the malicious barracks. So, that's likely to be a lot diff more difficult to get into. Why we'll need Boulder's help. Once we step off, the shepherd is to head back out to sea and wait for further instruction. It's not safe for them to stay docked, just in case the spiders attempt to board the ship. Are we understood? Is there a way to make it across the city, you know, lightly and carefully? Because just out in the open like that, I feel it's pretty dangerous. The arena's on the other side of the city, correct? Asmesis? One's on you. And Raz, um starts to do a movement with Failthorn and with his hands kind of spinning it a little bit and cracks it into the ground and casts Pass Without a Trace on you. So true. Allowing you to get from this side of the city to the arena right. with no trouble. As you pass through the city that all our players save Vamp have traveled through um Vamp is It's all of gear been torn to the ground. All of gear is melted. Oh god. The once beautiful and intricate lockwork of the city has been mostly reduced to melted iron bits. There's huge chunks taken out from the city, and it looks as if you know. You can see almost patrols of the spiders carrying off these bits to some unidentified location. There looks to be a lot more organization among them than you've encountered in the past. Dumb spider of ruin scrubbed his home. Take Balder away from him. Uh, I'm gonna shimmy sham over to Raz. Is... Is that normal that... They look... Fuck. Like a little community or something. I don't have much in the way of... Notes on the solder spiders. Abaddon has a mild number of notes, but whatever is happening, it appears they're advancing. Like, like evolution? I'm not quite sure. Are they going to turn into crabs? I don't think they will. Okay. Because that would make things a lot harder if they turned into crabs. Yes, it would. But it doesn't matter what they turn into. Me smash them. And Skrungus kind of turns over to Callisto for a moment. And being that they've been able to make their way through a, more than a fair portion of the track as of this point. Uh, you know, thanks to Rasmesis spell casting which was able to get the entire party safely through without it flirting next to zero if not any spiders as of this point Skrungus kind of mutters out you were right smart glad we brought them like I said I wouldn't be here without Rasmesis let's smash them Agreed. Together. Agreed. Keep going. Um, as you approach the arena where you are set to meet Balder and 
where Andrew believes Balder is. Um, Rungus, you can see, standing atop one of the large gears, is your old home. The penthouse at the Champion's Hall. It is almost entirely melted. You can see, just hanging precariously over the edge, what looks to have been your bed, along with a hole into your old house. Oh, spider ruined Skrungus room. Ruined Skrungus house. Oh, make me so mad, me could smash. And he winds up for a punch. Doesn't punch anything, just kind of drops his fist in anger. We have to be close now. Um, Callisto kind of gives him a nod. Save your anger for your enemy. You're gonna need it. You're right. Me. Sorry. No need to apologize, just... Just keep going and keep a level head until it's time to fight. Right. Got this, big guy. Cece pats his arm. Skrungus lets out a singular nod and a grunt of appreciation, I suppose? Acknowledgement? Something along the lines of that. You finally reach the entrance of the arena. Um, and Andrew kind of motions over for you to help him, Scrungus. The two of you are able to pry open one of the gate, the door, with the help of, um, I'm going to say Toraleth, Callisto, and Xavier, all working together to melt it to give it some give. Without burning your hands. And... Plus could probably even use Sunspot, too. Yeah. Um... You approach, enter, far ring of the arena. Good center, around where the button is, is if... For the ones who would remember, I think might be... Callisto? No. It would be CC, Toraleth, Grungus, Xavier. Callisto, Callisto only passed through. Callisto saw the advance company, the scout group. Did he? Yeah. Right, he did. Yep. Callisto, you recognize um, Lieutenant Venus and Corporal Rogan and stood opposite of them. The General, Balder, surrounding you and... In shaken fear, dotted throughout the arena are just four citizens on their way to emaciation, looking weak and hardly surviving. Um, before the, the party goes to Balder, can Balder ask his uh, one of his soldiers a question? Yes. Okay. Balder looks almost exasperated at this point. He is very tired. He hasn't noticed anyone walk in at this point, but he turns to Venus and, um, uh, well, goes on. Have you heard anything from the Whaleskin clan? Have they responded to our message? All we got was... A letter that said, Ha ha, no. I assume they're not on their way to help anytime soon. Great. We've had luck I with the Tempests, and I believe we've had help sent from the Aegis, as well as the Bulwark. I knew they would respond, but for some reason... Why did I think he would answer? 
I'd wish you would. Be good. I, I'd be good. I direct your attention to funny Valder Wrath. Gee. Oh, funny, that's that's attractive. Big boy. And as soon as that conversation is over, he he sighs, looks towards his like right, and he freezes, seeing everyone just walk in. The moment that Balder locks eyes with the party, Scrungus, in mayhaps the most desperate that we've ever seen him as of this point in time, like a like a, a, a wild animal, like a child, not thinking about any of their movements, he, he breaks into a sprint until he is face-to-face -face with Balder again. And all he does is he takes Balder by the, the sides of his face and presses his forehead into, into Balder's forcefully, but not with the intention to hurt, but more so with the intention to reassure Balder. <laughs> Me said with me would be back. Now me back. Why are you back so soon? I, I can't protect you if you're here. Me here to help. Me stronger now. Strong like you. Scrongus. And he... He doesn't, like, move his head, but he looks towards Andrew, and it reaches out to him. Um, his and husband. Andrew's gonna, like, reach up, up Baldur's face, and bring him down, and give him a little kiss on the cheek. Hello there. Been a while. Hey. We brought reinforcements. It's not much, but... They have divine weapons as well. All what? of them. All of them. They for strongest here. <sighs> Me no need it. You divine weapon wielder. More than strong enough for one hundred strongest. <sighs> I. Andrew, if you believe in them, then. This is good. I, I'm... I'm confident that, that you all will... Why is Jared named Delucio too? Anyways! <laughs> sorry, that caught me off guard! Um, and he just nods his head and responds, trying to just collect all of his thoughts and... Okay. Okay. Well, what are your orders, General? Well, well, we need. There are still citizens in the city who need to get picked up. I don't know if we'll get to them today, but there are still some in the barracks who need to be freed. We'll need to get to them first. I assume that's Pendrel's group, correct? Correct. We have not heard from them in a few days, so we need to check up on them. That should be our top priority, then. Along with keeping everybody here safe. But I assume that Venus and Rogan will be able to handle that. They sure will. Looks over and waves at them. Get back. Don't spider no hurt anyone anymore. Now that Scrunkus and Bald are back together, we smashed up Spider and saved Valdor. And, and 
Scrungus hastily yanks on Baldur's arm like a child trying to point out a, a farm animal that they just drove past. <laughs> Scrungus break all he friends. Callisto, DC, Toraleth, they strong, they strong like you, Baldur. Me, me try to be strong like you too. Damn. You are. You are strong as I am. Maybe. Strongest. Sniffles? <laughs> long enough to come home. Me get strong enough to fight like you. Now me take back our home. All of us. You're right. We'll get all these spiders out of here and start rebuilding our home because this is where we will stay and we'll fight for it. <laughs> Strongest ones again. Gives Baldur a very gentle head touch, arm still clasping at the side of Baldur's head. Me miss you, Dad. I've missed you too. Scrungus turns towards Callisto, CC, and Torlef, who are probably just watching him. What all of you looking at? Uh, you hear General Balder order. We smash spider. We save city. He leaps down to get closer to everyone. We trust all of you. No, let Scrungus down now. And he hastily turns back towards Balder and darts back towards him and Andrew. Well, let's get going. So, yes, sir. After you. Lead the troops. Control over Baldur. Oh, because it's a new Baldur token. Sorry. New Bald token. Baldur, the cooler Baldur. Don't worry. Now you do. Boop. <laughs> um, Rasmesis, once more. Is going to activate pass without a trace just to, you know, ensure that you will be safe. Over the bum. Good to meet you, sir. Me too. <sighs> Srongus is hastily dogging Baldur's steps until he's directly behind him again. That Resmesis. He keeps Grungus and friends safe. Callisto, tell me. He's smart. He's smart too. They smart. We need smart. Need everything we can. Um, Callisto kind of just walks up real quick. Um, and holds his firm hand out, firm hand out to Balder. Um, Callista Polaris, it's an honor, sir. An honor to meet you, uh, Polaris. And he, big meaty hand grips, uh, Callisto's hand, shakes it. Um, oh. it's also noted that Callisto does have sunspot firmly in his other hand as well. Balder would also recognize the family name as one of, as 
the representative family uh, of mm. one of the um, fractal core. Mm. Would he also know that Callisto had a strained relationship with his parents? Most likely. They probably talked about it. Then he's not going to bring it up. <sighs> Cece's going to slide over and just be like, Hello, sir. Remember me? Sure do. Looks like you have gotten stronger since we last met. Oh, yes, indeed. How... In... I'm a lot stronger this time. Uh, and she pulls out a comic crusher to kind of like show it off. Like, and I got the proof here. You have Magdalene's weapon. Uh, yeah, she, uh. She didn't exact. She kind of. She gave it to me, but she also didn't, if that makes sense. I knew what her plan was. You, you don't have to tell me. Uh, I... I... <laughs> uh, sorry, I think. No, it's fine. She, she was a rambunctious old woman. <laughs> you bet. Impressive, though. Yes, very impressive. Scrungus goes back to gripping Baldur's shoulders. Scrungus, meet many strong people on his journey. Magdalene strong and she saw how strong Cece is. Scrogus think Cece as strong as he is. He trusts Cece. I'm glad you've made friends, Scrogus. She friend. He, he, he. Once we get a moment's rest, you might you will have to tell me of your journey. <laughs> uh, we will. Everybody ready? Yeah. Yep. All right. Party sets out, leaving behind uh, Rogan and Venus to oversee this location. Um, before leaving, Rasmesis is able to give a wooden canopy over the arena to um, deter the spiders that, you know, seek out metal. Mm. Um, and the party then travels onwards at militia barracks a little go right through the city center um again noticing that they're moving in almost patrols headed for what looks like the direction of where ferris is to be slotted into Powers the city, uh, the heart of Valdor. Though you can't be certain entirely that's where they're going. You lose track of them as they pass by you. Uh, one of them stops and looks in your direction for a moment before unconsciously just turning back to its. that you reach the doors the barracks which are sealed shut and Xavier kind of cracks his knuckles so uh, this is where I come in right you need a break in we have a key. trust you lucky for you I'm still in the business a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Call it up. Going out of business sale, maybe. And, uh, Xavier's... 
hands come to life with flames and just claws through the door and then runs almost a circle through it, um, busting it wide open. Hey, Scrungus, you want to give it a good old kick? Oh, me save you, Valdor. He trudges back a bit, charges towards the door, and like almost drop kicks the door down. Like Ganondorf wizard foot kicks it. And there's a fairly sizable dent, I'd imagine. Not enough to bust it down, but after one more heave-ho giant's punch, it's over and done with. Yeah. Um, you step in through the tunnel and head into the front entrance of the barracks, which usually is teeming with tables, weaponry, everything. Um, and you notice that there are just holes through the ceiling, rubble all around, the tables are crushed, and walking amongst them in almost formation are the solder spiders. Only a foot tall, but these ones have much thicker armor than you have seen before, and they look a lot healthier. They look better fed. Nasty. Oh, dumb spider in here too. Oh, this is what we train for. Smash dumb spider. Save Valdor. That's. Let's get him. Ready yourself, soldiers. And I put a little dot on Alder's head by accident. Alder got a freckle. All right. Would you like to roll initiative? Yes. Let's go. Mm, will you let us put ours in ourselves? Yes. Cool. I don't have it. Just, I'm just gonna use the enter roller. Oh. Why isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the text telling me to upload the episode. <coughs> yeah, I sent that like two hours ago. Well, the episode. Right. On the far side through the hallway, you can all see what looks to be a wooden barricade with these dogs made of fire just bounding through the room, attacking whatever they can, and slumped over the side of the barracks is a, a wave. Uh, good to see all of you! I could use some help fast! Pendrel calls out to you. Pendrel! Squig is coming! Alright. First up is Balder. Um. Okay. 
I'll just gonna move up to this group and he's not gonna do it right away. That'd be stupid. Um, let's. I have not played Balder in such a long time, and he is now level 20, so I have no clue how to play him. Mm -hmm. Um... Oh. Holy shit. Okay, um... Just to ease my mind, he's just gonna go simple, uh, two attacks with Ferris. Okay. Um... The first one... It's an 18 to hit. Yep. And the other one was a 17 to hit. Yep. Okay. Okay. Probably gonna hit this one here. Okay. Um. Do I add my uh, modifier to the second one as well, or just the first one? The second one as well. Okay. Uh, 27 damage. Okay. From the first one or total? Total. Okay. Um. You cut. It's like you sever, almost sever its entire back off. Um, and it just turns and twists its head up to you with a very dead stare, as if there's nothing intelligent behind there anymore. Usually you can see their inner workings um, in their eyes, but now you just see a blind soldier. Mm. Orla. Holy shit. Um, Do you want me to move your initiative? No, 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 this is fine. This okay. is fine. Um... He is not going to do volcanic samba in this little tiny ass room. Um, he's going to move probably to the other side if I can find the uh, right here. I think he can make that. Of course he can. <clears throat> um, and he's going to use um. Hmm. Uh, status. Mm. Yeah, status your ballet. Not. Um. And he's gonna use the kick for that. Yes. Um. Blinder. Ah, uh, I think it would be. A Uh, 19 to hit, which hits. Yep. Um, and he does... Uh, 10 damage. Fire damage. Alright. Listo. Listo, like, charges over here. And... He is going to activate one of his solo child disciplines called Sunburst. Um, these solder spiders, um, um, all of them in this area are going to make a deck saving throw. Um, do one thing, roll three. Um, that fails. Yeah. As Callisto ru is running, his body ignites on fire. And as he comes to a halt in front of them, he explodes. Boom. Like, bursts out. And he's going to do 8d12 fire damage to all of these solder spiders and 5d12 damage to himself. I'm doing a roller for it. That's going to be... Um, 47 damage to every single one of those solder spiders and it's fire damage. And in his explosive state, 
He does. Hold on. Um. Twenty nine damage to himself. Yeah, you all watch as Callisto just clears a large group of these spiders. Holy shit. That's hot. And then oh. she, like, looks at Torleth, like, eh, eh. Or Torleth's not next to her. Looks at Andrew, I guess, like, eh, eh. And Andrew just looks at you, like, mm, and shrugs. <laughs> fire and he did a fire thing i thought that was good you look i don't have relationship advice for you right now but it was partner. and my partner and i are very busy trying to you know take back our city but pats your shoulder go for it i guess or whatever you need to hear in the moment i was making a pun i was trying to Never mind. Um, and Xavier's gonna run up to Scrungus. Hey, uh, can I get a ride? I'll get you back if you take me. Um, and Xavier's gonna hop on your back and is going to, um, no, I just punched Jasper's chair. Um, Why? Because I was doing a hand motion. He's gonna flick his arm out and a little ring of fire is gonna go on his hands. He's gonna touch it to Scrongus' sword to give it um, an additional d4 of fire damage. That worked for you, big guy. Uh, Torleth Smart bringing you along. Let's smash him together. Let's go. Um, and Xavier's just gonna hold there until you move. Um, Rasmesis is going to slow step out to here. And then you watch as his back starts to shift and bend. His green skin turns to birch. And his face distorts into a muzzle and opens wide. Those of you who went recognize the visage of a Fjodan demon. Oof. Rasmesis has notes on them. And it just charges towards this group. Using full movement and then some. On wide... It just sounded really good. Props to you for that. It was a good wide. Uh, where's Sam? I'm here, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, Sam. That one's for you, Sam. Um, well, but you're in the room, but can't attack. Um, Grungus. With Xavier now in tow, Grungus. Makes a Scrungus is going to rage, obviously. He's going to charge to fight alongside Balder, attacking the solder spider. Okay, let's see what I do here. And I'll give you advantage with uh, Xavier's assist. Oh, fun! Let's get it. Um, that's a. Excuse me. I have advantage. Let's roll off. Nope. Oh. Try that again. Uh, yeah, no, fun. Um, that was a... That's an 18 to hit. Yep. Okay, second attack. Uh, let's roll with advantage just to see what happens. Uh, and that is a 25 to hit. Yep. Fun, fun. Okay, uh, we're attacking with the great sword. So, just... Let's see. And that great sword is that is two d six plus five. Uh, and that 
that is, and we get to add an additional, what was it, D4? Yes. And double the damage on the D4. Okay. Uh, that is only... Uh... Oh, hold on. I goofed on that. Let me try that again. Lose. Uh, that is 23 points of damage total. Right. PC, you're up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I did the math. I can really only get it about here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a hit on this spider. Actually, Double check quick. Because, uh. They have a pretty high to hit. And these things might be metal. I don't want to hit these things. So, I'm going to give myself the big boy. The big boy boulder. Big boy boulder. Uh, and I'm going to start hitting. They also have weakness to bludgeoning. Yeah, baby. Plus 10 to hit. 18 on the first attack. Yes. All right. Uh, I'll do two on the guy under me and then one on the guy to the side of me. 25, we know that hits. And another 18, so all my attacks hit. And Comet Crusher is going to do a d12 plus 5. So this guy down here is going to take whatever double 17... What is 17 twice? 14, carry the 1. Like 34. 34. Yeah. Yeah, you just splat it. And then it, I'll go. <laughs> it sees the the ball of Comet Crusher coming, and you hear almost a squeak, and then it's gone. <laughs> it's like vaporized. And then my other attack is hitting the one on my left, and that one takes 17 damage. Because. Holy shit. <laughs> yep. Oh, wait. Oh, that wasn't even... I only rolled 1d12. I just doubled the... It's fine. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't be able to reach any of the other ones anyway, so that's my turn. Um, Andrew is going to action surge to be able to dash and is going to run up to Next to you, uh, Torla. Mm. That's it. 23, 19, crit, and a 21. Um, and you watch as Andrew pulls out um, a blade with veins inlaid into it of platinum. Been a while since I've gotten to use you. Let's get it done. Um. Calculator. Yeah, Andrew just rushes up and cuts through this one, um, severing its arms first, then its back, then its head, hitting all of the, um, the joints, and just steps through it. Alright, be careful and don't let them get you too bad, okay? And they begin to swarm. Um. Let's 
Alpha, so you're all good. <laughs> um, Rasmesis is being uh, covered by them right now. That's fine. That is a natural 20 on Scrungus. Yeah, that, that's gonna hit, obviously. Yeah. Uh, that is a 14 on CC. Uh, 14 does not hit. 16 on CC. That hit. That hits? Well, a 16 matches, so that hits, right? Okay. Um, that is going to be a 21 on Balder. Doesn't hit or does? Doesn't. Okay. Um, 21. Natural 20. Uh, and then on Andrew. Nope, one's an at one. Um, one will hit, and then one on Tora left. Uh, 19. That hits. Uh, that is going to be 18 on you, Scrungus, and then you can have it. Okay, so um, 9. You see, that is going to be 3 points of damage. Oh, they just nibbled me. Yeah. Uh, 4 I points of fighter. damage, Balder. Or no, 8 points of damage, you had a crit. 2 points of damage on Andrew. Wait, how many solder spiders hit me? Just one. Just one? I yeah. that didn't hit. No, it was a nat twenty. Oh, it was a nat twenty. Okay. Yeah. How much was that? Uh, eight points of damage. Eight. Okay. And then Lovely. one on Tora left. Uh, five points of damage. Okay. And then, listo has been fine. Uh, yeah. Uh. Though covered, they're not even going to be able to touch Rasmesis because they're not sure what he is. Mm. You kind of just see them crawling on him, confused as to the fact that he is made of a wood. Wood. And strange. Wood Taiji! But we left him flesh. on the boat! Wood. Wood. Um, you can also see down below that Pendril's dogs take out one of the spiders that are attempting to get through the barricade. Balder. Um, uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to use Divine Favor, so I get an extra 1d4. Um... Looking at what else I can do. Um... Okay. Um, I'm just gonna use Ferris again for two hits. That is not the type of dice I want to roll. Uh, 24 and a natural 20. Yes. So that's it. Cool. I want to use these dice for a okay. They have little roses. Hmm. I can't use Divine Smite now, right? Since I used my bonus action? Or is that just free action? It sure. goes with your attack. Okay. So, I'll use one on the, the crit. Okay. Just just because. Even though these things do not have a lot of health. Because he's a big man. So that's what, an extra... How much... 20th level? A lot. <laughs> Hold on.
just cause why not? Thanks, Mike. Um. I think it's just 5d8. 5d8. Are you just using one spell slot? Yes. It's, uh... It's 5d8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... For <laughs> one little tiny spider, Balder is doing... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, d8. Um... A d4, and 2d6. <laughs> That's 40 damage. <laughs> Wait, that would be 47 damage, adding his modifier. Did in. you double it? Um, that is 90-something. <laughs> yeah. You you just slash through the one in front of you. Just not even any effort put into that one. Um, And then you take both blades of Ferris and do a little spin, cutting through the one to your right. And the momentum pulls you through to the one behind you. And you just manage to stop yourself on a dime before you cut through Xavier, who looks at you and just goes, <laughs> yeah. That did not come out of my mouth. Thank you, Mr. Boulder, sir. Don't worry, I'm not hurting you. Okay. Cora left's turn. Cora is going to use... Uh, 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 Inferno Dirge, which is his, bo uh, his chosen ability for Falcon Slayer. As a bonus action, by playing the song, you can double all fire damage dealt by yourself and your allies for the next 1d4 rounds. So that also helps Xavier and Callisto. Um, and strongest right now. Oh, right. That too. Um, doing a random 1d4 for three rounds. A double all fire damage done to on my allies. Um, so my would allies. that be... Fire am damage is tripled. That triples it, yeah. Yes. Hmm. Um, additionally, I become Veiled in a Defense Inferno, increasing my AC by 2, and dealing 1d6 fire damage to any targets that make it melee attacks against you. Check made. This is recharge so... Bleh. Okay, sure. Just means I can't use it again. Um, so, and I'm also going to use... Uh, Volcanic Samba, where... It's... Not Samba. Uh, Lithosphere Flamencio. I have not used that yet. Um, as an action, activate this ability to open a small fissure, 15 foot line extending from you. And I'm already. So these three spiders that are in that line right here are going to be in a fissure. Um, it's also, this comes rough terrain in addition to forcing any creatures in this range to make a dexterity saving throw. Well, um, that, that is, uh, that is not sweet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so they fail that. So you they win. have to take, <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they have to take, uh, I think it's 88? 66. Uh, 66. Um, but that is doubled because it's bludgeoning damage. Mm. And doing an extra, that's. So, wait, that's tripled then? Because my fire damage? No, it's not fire. It's not fire. The flamenco doesn't oh. deal flam fire damage. Oh, okay. Yeah, it just opens up a fissure. Okay, so it was 18, so times 18. I mean, times 2. 36. 36 damage. Okay. You just crack open the floor, and they just get wiped. It's like a little hoagie. You know, 
I'm going to have to fix this when you're done. I hope you know that. Uh, uh, I mean, you did a great job. I'm sorry. You, I, I, I do you wasn't know how thinking. To it's okay. Do you know how to repair it, maybe? Uh, well, if it's metal, I'm sure I can uh, weld it back together. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. Just please be a little gentle. Uh, you're doing great, and I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Um, Callisto's turn. Callisto staggers a bit after having exploded, um, but comes to and stabilizes himself, grips Sunspot, and remembers that Ganymede can also feel the pain. Oh. oh. And, like, holds, almost holds Sunspot like it's a phone, or like a telegram, rather. And because Sunspot and Corona have telepathy, he just goes through telepathy to her. I'm so sorry you just felt that, but you're going to have to feel it again and bear with me. I was taking a nap. Um, we're in the shit here, so just, uh, stay calm. And... Boy. Huh? I think Paul will talk to you. I was just going to say, I just think that Jem, now to, like, on the other side, is, like, holding on to Ganymede, like, what's going on? Screaming. Um, Callisto grips Sunspot, and he charges to uh, the um the the spider that's below Rasmesis. If anyone sees him, it almost looks like he disappears. But that spider is going to make a Dex saving throw as Callisto launches full force. That's a nat one. Mm -hmm. That's a nat one. Okay. Are you dealing fire damage? Yes. Well, I'm dealing 4d8 bludgeoning, 4d8 fire. Plus, um, the triple. Um, so 17, 17 bludgeoning. And then another 19 fire. Is this warp bruiser? Yes. This is literally like a mass effect ability. Yep. <laughs> um, so basically, Callisto kind of phases from existence and just appears again in front of the spider and just, like, full bodies it to, like, to the ground. Um, so that's 17 bludgeoning and then 19 fire. No, oh, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> it's dead. It got an at one. And Raz just turns to you and you don't see Raz anymore. Within the eyes that look back at you. I know that's you there, but it's still not still unsettling. Um Xavier's gonna loop around. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Um can I just have Callisto do a quick bonus action? Yeah. His bonus action is he grips sunspot and engulfs it in flames. Mm. Uh Xavier is going to hit this one right here. Um, what the fuck is Xavier's sneak attack damage at this level? 1476, I believe. Hold on, let me double check that. You, you probably have. I believe it's half your level. Yeah, 1476. Yeah, Xavier's just gonna deal 41 damage and just, like, shove a hand inside of it and gut it. Now, why did I do that? Um, thanks for the assist, Strongest, or you're welcome for the... Yeah. This is not how I expected my Tuesday to go. I thought it was Monday. I hey, that shows Monday. what I know. Tuesday again? No problem. Um, no problem. And Rasmesis is just going to dig his hands into the ground and four pillars of um, 
just wooden spikes are going to cut right through these spiders. Um, which only does five points of damage to each of them. Uh, but they are grappled within these. Strongest. Okay, we're gonna do two attacks on the spider that is directly in front of Strongest, and I have advantage because of CC flanking. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Let's see what I can do. Uh, advantage. I don't have Xavier advantage anymore, but that is a 22 to hit. Yep. Okay, cool, cool. And... It's definitely going to hit, but let's just roll and see what happens. Double claws. Yeah, that's a 26 to hit. Yeah. Okay. And let me just roll... 40. And do I have any additional benefits? Do I still have uh, Xavier's? Yes. And that is 1d4. Which the d4 is now tripled. Oh, it's now tripled. Okay. Yes. So that is 9. Uh, I believe that is about Yeah, that's 39 points of damage. Yep. Just this... for the sake of uh flavor, Strongest is just going to barrel through uh the Salter Spider in the process of killing it and just moves about here. Yeah. DC. Sorry. Uh one one smashy boy. One boy to smash. I have uh one boy for you to smash. A singular boy just for me. A boy. A boy. Here comes the boy! The Crimson Chin! Yeah, I fucking crit this boy. Yeah? This boy's getting demolished. I didn't yep. even add the plus three damage from, from last time, I just realized. This boy... Oh, this boy. Flashed. Do I double the damage dice or double the damage? Uh, double the damage. Alright, so that'll be a d12 plus 8, because I'm gonna remember I have big boulder, so plus 3. So this motherfucker is taking 26 damage, and then you double the 26 damage. You double what you roll on the dice. Oh, okay. Well, for the bludgeoning. Yeah. Oh, so I double the dice roll, so that's 10 plus 8 is 18, and then we double the 18? Without adding your modifiers. I'm talking about the fact that the thing is weak to bludgeoning. Yeah. You just... Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. No, Stop it's okay. For a second. Yeah, it's dead. Either way, squish. DC just, like, swings this thing around, like, one, two, three, binder back, and then just slams it down on this fucking bug. All right. Fine. I'm covered in bug guts, but it's okay this time. And she's gonna start. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll finish Good. off the ones up here. You get down there and help Pendrel. You got it. Oh, I just skipped. Hey, close. Funny app.
probably only to, going to get through one of them. Yeah, is only able to cut through one of them. Um, but is kind of ushering you on your way, Torla. Mm. If any new ones come through, I'll take care of them. Right. Rasmesis, if you can hear me, you stay behind to... And you just hear. <laughs> okay. Good for him. He could cast how to turn into a demon. Seven points of damage on Andrew. Uh, and then the ones that are grappled are going to attempt to rip themselves off, and they do. Um, except for one of them. But they cannot attack. Um, Baldi. Alder's gonna just dash down here. I think that's 60 feet. Ugh, it's not the thingy. You're in the thingy. Ooh, a little bit more. And that's just gonna be his turn. And then Torleth is gonna do the same thing. I think he has a little bit more. Yeah, because the uh, Vulcan Slayer. Not Vulcan Slayer. Something gives him more movement. I think it was 10. I think it's the Islamosphere Ballet. Mm. Wherever that is. Right here. Yeah, 10 feet. Oh, he has 80 movement. Or, I mean, dashing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you would be... Yeah, you'd probably stay behind uh, Alder. Right there. Oh. Is that their turns? Yeah. Callisto. Callisto attack before running? Yes. Um, Callisto's going to strike twice with uh, Sunspot. Um, do I get advantage because of Raz or no? Yes. Okay. That's going to be a 20, not natural. Yes. And then I'm just going to roll the second one. And that doesn't add anything. Oh, the second one doesn't add anything? No. Uh, 17? Yep. Okay. And that is engulfed in fire. So that's crippled still? Yep. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. Five tripled is 15 for the first one. And then, ooh, 11 tripled is 33. Okay, that one's done. All right. And Callisto is going to use his bonus action to use planar distortion, which can warp him on the map to any ally he can see. Um... Probably the only ally he can see is probably Skrungus, so he's just going to warp there and then use 45 feet of movement because this discipline adds um, plus 10 to defend. Um, probably come about here. That's his turn. I, I don't know how to teleport, but um, okay. You coming, big guy? Uh, shouting at Scrungus. He screams in rage and pounds his chest. Um, and then, you know, Raz is busy over here having fun. Natural 20 on one of them. One of those hits, so that... That one's going to get torn through. Skangi. Okay. I have an idea. I'm not sure how well it's going to work, but hear me out on this, chair. Yes. What I want to do 
is I want Skrungus to charge dash. Pick up CC and Xavier and throw them. <laughs> I give consent to this maneuver. Like projectiles. Okay. I'm willing to take damage for this. Yeah. Okay. So Skrungus is going to dash, which doubles his movement speed. We are dealing with a hundred feet of 750 pounds of Cronin. Picking up CC and Xavier, and he's going to throw them at um, the enemy. I also want to let you know, your hundred feet of movement puts you directly on top of one of them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This is why we're doing this. So Skrungus moves a hundred feet. Picking up CC and Xavier as he does so. And you can hear as he charges. No time! Save Pandro! Okay. And CC, you are scooped up in one arm. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> quickly following afterwards, Xavier does. Xavier is also scooped up. You can at least take me to dinner first! <laughs> Attack now! Once Krungus arrives at his 100 feet radius, this. Salder spider that I am standing directly in front of is taking, and I have to do the math on this one. I'm sorry. You just want to do the digital roller? Well, no, I have to figure oh. out how many d6 I'm rolling. So, a hundred d6. No, not a hundred d6. Jesus no. Christ. No, it's one d6 for every five feet, so that's 20 d6. Yes. There, where's CC okay. going? Like here? I'm gonna assume, here. yeah, somewhere around there. Want me to roll the. Uh, you know what, sure. Okay, so that Solder Spider is taking, and I'm adding Strength Mod to that on top. I'm so essentially spider... allowing you a legendary action. Uh, the Solder Spider is taking 85 points of damage. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, and for Skrungus is... I guess, because at the end of Charger, you get an attack roll. So Skrungus is going to use his attack roll to throw uh, CC and Xavier. I guess for the sake of ease of access, uh, you can just throw them at the essentially the same area, the same general target. Oh, I'm already on the other side. Yeah, uh, they've uh, they've gone to their locations. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is this is an, an extra big reach. Um, but can I roll for impact damage for the two of them? And I flavor it that when CC is thrown, she panics, screams, hugs the hilt of Comic Crusher, and is like Sonic the Hedgehog being hurled with the fucking meteor. Like, like, do you get what I'm trying to say yeah. here? Like, the meteor is propelling her even further, which is causing her to scream more. Yeah, roll impact damage for Xavier, because Xavier missed his attack. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Um, <laughs> he screwed up. So, okay, if you move at least 10 feet in a straight line immediately before taking this bonus action, you either get a plus 5 bonus to the attack damage roll, or push the... Yeah, okay, for some reason I thought this was a plus 5 advantage to kick. Uh, yeah, let me roll that real quick. Uh, uh, what would I... What would I roll for that? For impact? Yeah. Uh, roll a d10. One d10. Like Am I adding any mods me. or just a d10? Um, strength. One d10. Uh, Xavier is taking nine points of damage. I feel like we should take more than nine. Listen, I'm willing to get beat up for this move. This is amazing. <laughs> well, 
Skrongus didn't throw CC and Xavier until he had squashed the spider. That's fair, that's fair. So, realistically speaking, you're only being thrown, like, 5, 10, 15 feet at the most. Yeah, that's fair. I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> Listen, I benefit from taking damage. I don't care. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is totally unrelated, Jasper. I just saw the picture you posted in chat. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, I didn't see. Let me see. It's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Xavier uh, just splats into it. For chat context, it's the image of Garfield being thrown out the window. <laughs> Upside down. That's Strongest them. Who, uh, at this point, is crush a spider. Powdered him. Is, you know, he's probably standing atop the barrack after hurling Xavier and Cece and just quickly turns uh, to face Pendril. <gasps> Me miss you. Miss you too, buddy. Now, can we clear these out pretty fast? Starting to get hard. We squash them. You keep them safe. Okay. Make sure somebody helps Violet. <gasps> Over. Um. Yes. Oh. No, Taz. That's Taz, not Violet. Anyway. Uh, CC. Yeah, CC is very dazed. Probably initially is like upside down. Is gonna like hop up. And do an attack here, an attack here, and an attack here. Just one for each spider uh, that is surrounding her, because she has three attacks. Mm -hmm. So that's a hit, a hit, and a hit. Nice. And one of those is a crit. We're about to have some dead spiders. And so they're all going to do a d12 plus 8, because I have the big boy. So that's... Nine on the one to my right. So double that for 18. That is dead. All right. The one below me is going to take... Seven plus seven is 14. 14 plus eight is... 24? No, that says 15. Well, you said that that one's the crit, so you double the damage dice, right? You rolled a crit? I rolled a crit. I got an at 20. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, that one's dead. And then... That one's also dead. They're all dead. Dead. Actually, I like that... The CC uh, just like... What? That one is, like, barely alive. But that one took less damage than the other one. Or more damage than another one that died. Both, this, because this... the other one already had damage on it. Oh, For... I didn't know. It was the one that you were thrown at. Oh, okay. I did no, not this realize. one has four health left. <laughs> you see, it looks at the spider. Boo. Roll psychic damage. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what letter? Uh, letter? What number? letter? D4. Any modifier? Um... Strength. Strength? Cool, I got yeah. plus five. We're ha we have fun here. I kill the spider. Yeah. I was just looking at it and going, boo. You say boo and it just drops dead. <laughs> I like to think her eyes glow a little bit, like the Matsuku glow when that happens. Not even gonna roll up here for these dudes. Gone. 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 Gone and forgotten. Spiders? Oh, uh, right one now. on Pendril. Gonna hit. My three points. Pendril's okay. Actually, Pendril should have more. There we go. That's 
fix does not hit. Uh, you see they are rapidly approaching your location and they have your IP address. Oh, motherfucker. Not my IP address. Uh, I don't think they hit oh, you, though. No. Uh, what'd they get? Did any of them get a 16? No. Then I am fine. That's a hit on Xavier and a miss on Xavier. And a attack on Taz and a miss on. Attack on Taz and a miss on Taz. Xavier, you're taking seven points of damage. Thanks. Good sport, Xavier. <laughs> um, that was weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ball. Hey, no, 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 we're here for it. We're here for good sport, Xavier. Oh. Balder's turn. Oh boy. Okay, so Balder is gonna waltz on in and um use his protector ability, which is as an action, release a sixty foot radius pulse centered in on yourself. Allies within this pulse are healed for one D hundred plus twenty HP, and the enemies around this radius must succeed as a constitution saving throw, taking the same amount of damage and a failure half as much as an excess. What so <laughs> Um, that is the pro that is Protector Ferris's ability. Yep, this Balder is the only one who's ever gonna get this ability with Ferris, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Um, so what Balder does, he kind of just flips Ferris within his wrist, and with like a, with a giant clap, a giant radiant cloud encroaches this entire room. Because it's a 60 foot radius and that goes even outside the room. Yeah. So everyone, every ally is healed for. Sucks. Um, 59 damage. 59 health. Oh, everyone okay. regains 59 cool. health. That was better. Um, and the all every Sada Spider has to take. Every solder spider is dead. Every solder spider is dead. So fucking true. And he kind of just sheaths Ferris and the cloud dissipates and he just wipes his hands. All right, now, Balder. Now that that crick's out of my neck. Why didn't you just do that ability when we were first being overrun? I didn't take a nap yet. <laughs> you know what? I get it. Sometimes Ferris says, no, you need to sleep. I'm like, okay, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, why don't I take you on back to... The humble castle that we've been running back here. And, um, Tendril goes to stand up and immediately just collapses right onto Skrunga. Oh, Tendril, Skrunga's help you. Thank you. I could, Skrunga's I could use it. Kind of supports Tendril as they walk. That's... Um, you all head back over it. Well, this was in the wall. What? I accidentally left the game. Costa was in the wall when I saw him. Whoops. I've been fun there. He's, he's not in the wall anymore. I don't know what you're... <laughs> Well, he was for a minute, and I'm... Shut up. His, um, his warping ability got screwed for a second. Oh, fuck, Calissa, you're on the wall. Oh, I'm do good. You... I'm okay. Do... do you need help out? No, I'm Calissa? good. Did it hurt? Uh, no. Where? Hanging out. I, uh, I don't suppose any of you came with any extra rations? 
No. Grungus fiddles with his belt and he has like leftovers from the night prior stuffed into his pockets. We were saving this. You need it more. Thanks. Father probably takes out a a bag and he has like a bunch with him. Um and just lays it on a crate. Rasmesis is going to exit the demon form and walk over to a table next to Violet, who has been working to um almost alchemize food. Um and Rasmesis is going to pluck a strand out of Thorn's orb and spread it in a circle on the table, create a little, like, spell design, and then just fruits are going to burst from it in a nice pile. Las frutas. I assume this is good? Yeah, that's great. So, uh, Balder, it's nice to see you. We got, um, and then motions towards about 40 civilians who are just within sight, cowering over here. Mm -hmm. And, um, obviously, you know Ezra, who signs hello. Has Violet Pentigo's here. He's not he hasn't been eaten though. Oh. So sure food he does. will do him good. And um this is the help from Kalesi. Garnet is from Canelian Aegis. And this is Mercury from the Iron Volwark. Good to meet you. Yeah, Mercury. I'm more than honored that you guys came to our help. We did our best to get here, though we haven't been able to do too much. It's been hopefully enough. It's anything is more great. than enough. Um, you also notice that. The steel and the iron that usually makes up these barracks walls has been transformed into concrete. Um, and looking over at Contigo, you can see that he is just constantly pressing his hands to the ground. And the concrete continues to spread. I may not have my forge, but I'm still able to create the best I can. Don't overwork yourself, Kentago. Please. I feel a lot better with your help. Just need some food. Take all you can get. Look, oh, and Skrungus kind of props Pendril up on the ground for a second and darts over to Kentigo, once again reaching into his belt and pulling out some sort of leftover from the night prior. Eat. Eat what Balder want. Need strength. Fight. Keep safe. Please. I know that we're safe. That's Andrew. I know that we're... That's still Andrew. That's Andrew. I know that we're safe as long as you are here. Thank you, Skrungus. Be help. Be help. Um, uh. You can see he's kind of pacing about trying to figure out a way he can help out. Before he gets too far, Balder lays a, a hand on his shoulder. You 
already doing so much just being here. You don't fret, please. Well, well, fine. Only because you say so, Balder. Scrogus, find another way to help. And he's he darts off in the direction of some of the others in need and just kind of stands in the hallway with his sword out. We keep them safe from spider. Hmm. Just like you. Well, if we keep the doors closed, I don't see any more coming in anytime soon. Especially with Contigo keeping the concrete up. Uh, um, uh, oh. We should rest. Just because you're not helping at the moment doesn't mean you're not doing good. Because you're doing amazing. Hey. He trudges back next to Balder. Well, since we have this moment of rest, we should rest. Rungus kind of waves his arms. You hear General Balder? Go rest now! Um, is there a place where we can rest? There's beds back there. Take anyone you like. Thank you. Not mm. much, but for guests, we'll make the room. I'm not much for sleeping. I'll be all right. I'll be at the ready if you need me. Blister salute. And Balder nods back. As everyone is dispersing about themselves, Scrungus turns towards his two adoptive fathers, the three of them finally having been reunited since probably the better half of a year has since passed, something along the lines of that. And he just kind of plops himself down in front of Balder. You rest too. We talk now, please. Of, of course. <laughs> As I'm presuming Balder takes a knee or. Yeah, he just. He crisscross applesauce on the ground. <sighs> Scrogips miss you so much, Balder. He was worried, but Andrew helped Scrungus get stronger while he gone, but Scrungus worried about you, uh, you, okay, Valdor, okay? I'm just fine. No dings or bruises yet. Yet, um, but Valdor, and he kind of hushes down a little bit, just so not everyone hears, just him and Andrews. Valdor ain't looking too good. We're trying our best to keep the solder spiders from melting literally everything. Our home is gone, everything's melted away, but... We're trying our best, but I don't know how it's going to look. Well, that okay. Scrungus and Balder and Andrew, strongest warriors in Valdor. We have no reason. 
reason to leave Baldur's side now. We fight together. Never leave ever again. And Scrungus slams his fist into the ground, but when he does so, he hastily darts his eyes around, and once he catches a few people looking in his general direction, he kind of shrinks into himself for a moment. Scrungus never leave Baldur's side ever again. Me stay with you in Valdor, or, or you come with Scrungus on Shepherd. Then, Baldur and Scrungus fight together again, just like old time. That is. It would be an honor to fight against your side, with along with the people on the Shepherd. But I don't know. Valdor is my home. And forever will it be. So. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. Skrunk is sorry, Balder. He no want. He no want make you sad. No, 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 no. It's all good. You okay. have grown so much this past half a year. What was it? You changed a lot. Be it stronger, like you. Stronger, yes, but as an actual adult now, you have grown up as a person. And Strungus kind of holds out his hands and looks at them. <sighs> Is Baldur proud of Scrungus? I am so proud of you, Scrungus. He, he, he. <laughs> he wobbles forward and places his head in between the shoulders of Baldur and Andrew. And unlike before, where he had got Callisto, Cece, and Torleth into an a semi-awkward hug huddle. This one is with affectionate connotations, and he brings Andrew and Balder in close into a a hearty squeeze. Me love you, dads. Good to be back together. It is. They, they probably talked for a while afterwards, and the Grungus probably goes off to bed, and Balder talks more with Andrew, just relaying to him any information that he's had since they've left each other. No. For flavor, Scrungus doesn't really go off to bed so much as he does fall asleep curled up like a dog at Baldur's feet. <laughs> Baldur probably has a hand on his on his on his hair. Going off to oh. our new token. Her flavor, Cece goes to Rasmusis and is like, if I pass out, I need you to make sure Matsuku doesn't touch anything. Understood. Thank Would you. you. Like the vines? Probably for the best. They're gonna get curious and I don't want them touching a spider because they don't know what it is. Understood. You're the best. <laughs> Morlith probably goes to up to Xavier and Raz and just checks up on them. Um, 
I mean, I was a little hurt, but that balder fixed me right up with whatever that was. I'm guessing it was the Ferris, I guess. <laughs> but, um, you were thrown quite a bit. <laughs> Jostled, even. Um, your, 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 your brain okay? I know you had a concussion a few weeks back, so... Oh, yeah. I'm doing a lot better. Okay. Good. <laughs> I just Don't... want to keep an eye on Raz. I... Something didn't look right in his eyes. What do you mean? It was like... I know he's always... I'm... Well, first of all, he became one of the demons. But then that's, you know, a whole thing. But, uh... I noticed, like, this... Ooze. Black ooze, ooze. that was... Dripping from his eyes like tears from when I walked by. <sighs> I'm I'm probably just imagining. No 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 no. I I believe you. I always have. Um uh, it, it it probably is something to do with the basically demonic formation he just took. Oh yeah. Hopefully. While wielding a divine weapon, I'm I'm sure that has some sort of reaction, right? Oh, yeah. I hope so. And Torlet's just... Hmm. Is this... Hmm. 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 Interesting. Um... Can I make a medicine check on Rasmussus? Maybe even an insight? Yeah. Which one should I do? Medicine or insight? Um, um we should do medicine. Okay. That is not what I want. It is also Baldur's. <laughs> um, that is a 15. Physically, Rasmesis looks okay. Though you can... It, you can't tell if it's your eyes tricking you. But it looks almost as if his tattoos on his face are... Pulsating. Mm. For a moment. But again, really can't tell if it's... Happening or your mind playing tricks on you. Hmm. Or is gonna keep an eye on him. Um, just for flavor, um, Callisto doesn't actually go to rest. He goes to talk to the civilians and just calms a lot of them down, chats with them, and just, um, you know, kind of tries to uplift their spirits in whatever way he can. Just chats with them. The civilians that you said were back here. Yeah. That's all. Because I think it would be kind of funny. Susie's gonna go up to Callisto kind of muttering to herself like, I think it's funny. And I know he's gonna appreciate the joke. And, and she walks up to Callisto and she's like, Hey Callisto, you were looking pretty hot out there. And then she does like finger guns with this like stupid ass grin on her face. Oh, oh, eh? oh, 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 eh? um, um, <laughs> and Callisto's like, like, he knows that she's joking, but he's also like, oh, <laughs> oh, and he's like, oh, um, <laughs> um, thanks, um, I, uh, did a number on myself. <laughs> well, are you like, are you like still? Hurt? Did that hurt? I guess that would make sense. You literally exploded. That would probably hurt. No, Boulder, Boulder fixed me right up with that um, Ferris thing that he did. I'm fine. Yeah, that was okay. Was it? 
should I like not joke about it when you explode? Um, I'll probably do it again. So feel free. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow, I made this totally awkward. <laughs> he probably looks at some of the civilians and kind of just like smile, laughs at them too. Um, I guess we could use it. <laughs> well, I don't have a lot of jokes, but I guess you could say I'm pretty punny. <laughs> oh. Walk out of this hole I've dug myself into. Uh. And she just slowly backs away. Well, still probably just smiles, watches her go, um, and chats more with some of the civilians. I'm sure they were kind of entertained by that. Susie finds her way to a corner and is, like, mentally screaming. <laughs> um, but yeah. Shall we wrap up here? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to tonight's session. Please join us next week for a very special episode that, um, I think has a special guest? Question mark? Yeah. For what? Holy what? shit! Why is it a question mark? I, I, because I'm- because I'm teasing it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's I'm- Because day. I'm- because I'm trying to- to- to hype it up in a maybe way. Anyway, join us next week for next week's episode on Valentine's Day. It is not a Valentine's Day episode, but there is something very special happening in next week's episode. Please join us next week. Same time, same place, same channel. And we will see you next week for the continuation of our last weapon arc. Mid-season finale is February 28th. We will see you next week on the 14th. Thank you and have a good night. We're writing Chloe! Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Can we get a strongest bye -bye. goodbye? Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>